you, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna believe this. That's a good one. This is a heavy action rod. I wonder if it might be two. Yeah, that's another big. Quick flip. Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. This video is sponsored by Catchco. That's right, the makers of all the Guggen Squad, Biospawn, Carl's Amazing Baits, pretty much anything you can get on Carl's, shopcarls.com, as well as your local academies, Dick's, Sporting Goods, all your major tackle retailers. You should go check them out. I'm actually gonna be using the Exo Swim today, which is a nice little four inch Exo Swim. Hopefully I'm showing that on screen. We're gonna be fishing A rigs and uh, hopefully reeling in some bigs today. We're on a nice little juicy body of water behind me. Um, this is gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be a slug fest today. What do you think? I think we're gonna nail them. We got Chris up on the front of the boat. He's fishing an A-rig as well. Let's get to it, guys. Let's just, let's do the dang thing. Folks, we got a whole bunch of, uh, don't mind that empty box. We got a whole bunch of Catch Co. and Shop Carl's baits here. You know, that's where we get all of our baits. Click the link down below if you want to get the same baits we get from the same place we get them at 30% off. So, they're already striking out here. What do we want to get, Chris? Want something that's, you know, um, not necessarily top water, but close to the top makes a lot of movement like i think i'm gonna put that on an alabama rig okay bio spawn exo swims right there that's the deal today just got a good feeling you know i could actually go a little bit smaller with these exo swims four inches a little big but big baits big bites right Whoa, the plug's not in. Filling up with water, buddy. Get the bilge, get the bilge. Keep the bilge running, keep the motor running, control the motor running. Whoa, you in the water, buddy. All right, well, we've had our excitement for the morning. Yeah, it's all wet. <laughs> we've had our excitement for the morning. Hopefully I'll get another one of those today. Our Carl's box is done. We've got wet carpet. I took the drain plug out when I got off the water uh, last time I had the boat out, and we didn't put the drain plug back in, which is an issue. Never a dull moment when you have me on the boat. Apparently I'm bad luck. I probably just need to get out of fishing on YouTube, period. Maybe fishing in general. I'm gonna tell you right now, folks, these exo swims swim so good. And these are about to get blown up on. Just watching this come through the water, they look. Mwah! Right, just get some action in the water, look at that. Ooh boy. Oh yeah, hooked up. That's a good one, whatever it is. That's a good one. This is a heavy action rod and he is fighting. Wonder if it might be two. Yes, buddy. On the exo swim. Look at that fella. That is a beast. Look at that fella. Beast. Look at him. We're going to have to get a weight on that sucker. That sucker is massive. Holy crap. That's the way to start Holy that day, baby. Crap. 
Look, Look at that. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> you have to get away from this Ding, 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 ding. Gosh, look at him. Woo. Wintertime A-rig fishing right there. How about that chunk, folks? Holy moly. Am I recording? Please tell me I'm recording. I am recording. Thank goodness. Dude. <laughs> Come on. What we got? Six pounds, point three. Six point three that, pounds. Six point three pounds. We we're actually talking the other day, and we were like, why have we never come out here and used an A-rig? These guys blow up on shad all the time. Why are we never using the A-rig? <laughs> Stud of a morning. Woo! Stud of a morning. How was you fishing your A-rig? I was just, I, I probably kept it maybe three foot. So were you like digging it off the bottom or you No, were three three foot from the surface. Slow, so slow rolling it, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> I, I ain't never seen that heavy rod bend like that. Winter tank. It wasn't your typical bite. It just got super heavy. It just felt like you just hung up on a log. That was freaking sweet. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really fond of my my personal swim baits but these actually kick really well like they really do they kick really well I feel really good about our chances up here on this little point I got a three wire. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's another big. It's another big. It's another big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We are putting on a clinic with the A rig with the Exo Swims. My lord. Oh my gosh. What a freaking day. We need to leave the scales out. We just, we. Out. This is another six. This is another six. He's bigger than six, I think. He looks fatter. Look at that face on that dude. This is another six. It's <laughs> another freaking six. All right. Hold still, baby. Six even, baby. Six even. It's another six. 12 pounds it's of a, fish. It's another six. six. Can you read it? It's We're gonna run out of live well space. 12 pounds in the well. Yeah, 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 absolutely, sir. You, you need to get on an A-rig. Dude! Come on with the hooter, Come on, baby. So how about I've caught two fish over six pounds in my life within the last hour? 30 minutes. I mean, when they hit, Chris, it feels like you hit bottom. Like, it feels like you're just stuck. All right, we gotta get Chris on one of these. This is craziness craziness so we've got Chris convinced a rigs the way to go he's now got his a rig on and all I'm doing is just slow rolling it like two three foot under the surface not super deep not yo-yoing it off the bottom and it's just enough that those fish are coming and hitting it every now and then I'll pause it let it sink just a little bit and then flow it almost like a bait ball would be stopping to swerve or turn or we get another six we're out of live well space they didn't they didn't grow them as big as they do when this boat was made oh he knocked slack in it no he's smaller no he's just like a three or four pounder he's fine No, this is just like a four pounder. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we don't need the net for this one. We need it for the bigs. Talk about a day. Look at this. This is the small one. This is the small fish. This is the small one. 4.2, he's just 4.2. He's, he's the little guy today. Do we even have enough room? Yeah, we still got a little bit of room. 
All right, so we've gotten three giants. Look at this. They're holding up so well. To be as soft as they are and have as much kick, they're holding up super well. I can dig that. If you'd have told me I was gonna catch a four, four pound bass today, I would've told you that'd be awesome. That's an awesome day. And then when you tell me that so far that's gonna be your small one, I'd have slapped you in the face. Yeah, what's this dink doing here? Just a little two or three pounder. These little guys fight a lot harder than the uh, big ones. That right there is when you know they wanted it. I mean, look at that. Inhaled that one. Absolutely inhaled it. There we go. Buddy. I appreciate you trying, but uh, you're too small. I must say, what do you think? He's two pounds. Oh, I know he's two pounds. Just uh, two, three. two, three. That's probably a really good guess. He feels about two, three. Two, six, five. Okay. Yeah, you're you're just a little guy. Just two, two and a half. Yeah, these things are huge. <laughs> Look at the dang well. Let's go. Four fish in the box, and it's probably a tournament winning box already. Just in case you are curious, I've said this before, but I don't know if I got it on video. I'm not yo-yoing this thing off the bottom. I'm actually keeping it like two to three foot off under the surface, but I'm pausing every now and then, and I'm picking it back up, letting those bait just fall a little bit, just like a bait ball naturally would, cruising through the water. Every now and then, just a little bit of an erratic movement. And normally, those strikes are right after I pick it up after pausing. It's like it just creates a little bit of a reaction out of them. Like they're following it and it just pauses and they just can't stand it. When it kicks back up, they just attack it. The first two are not like that. The two smaller ones have been like that. Before we get back to the other point, I want to take this fish out. So whenever you're ready. Can you see it, babies? Monsters. The land of giants right there. So we're gonna start letting these guys we're gonna start letting these guys go because they're gonna jump out here shortly. Uh, but it's been a killer morning. Let me let me just go ahead and pull the small ones out, and then we're gonna get a release on the big guys. Well, I don't I may just have to grab them. Just grab what you can grab. Oh. Oh, that was a baby. How about that? Ladies and gentlemen, that is 12 pounds. A pure muscle right there. We're gonna let this girl go first. I assume they're girls. If these are guys, I, I, we gotta catch one of the girls. You ready? I'm ready. Ooh, back to the depths. All right, I think, two, I think this is the, the big, bigger the bigger one. This has got to be the big, big. This has got to be the big, big. Ooh. Yeah, she was, she was ready. She was definitely ready. Let's get the other two small ones. That one's ready. Woo! All right, new goal, fill it back up. <laughs> you got another one? You suck. <laughs> you net? No. Nice fish. Yeah, I'm fishing the middle over there. I think they're more in the middle. Woo, <laughs> got another one. Red's on fire! What? Now it's time to go hunt big ones. Yeah, right. We got we got we got time to call. We got to get rid of these little guys. These little guys aren't going to work for us. We got to get the big. I'm not recording. I'm recording. Chris is recording, so he got me and getting another one telling me I sucked. Don't know when I stopped recording or why I stopped recording, but I don't know what I've gotten what I don't have. <laughs> 
So either way, we've got we got footage from all over. But here's another little, probably two pounds at least, and uh, got him on another another A rig. Later, guy. With the splash. All right, so I've got five fish. I'm gonna say I have got 21 pounds. I'm gonna give that one two pounds. Chris is hooked up with one. Finally got an A rig fish. Any good? Nope, that's a stick. <laughs> he finally got back. one. Yeah, Woo. buddy. Check out that duck neck. Man. Let's go with a little jig action here. A little trash master with a Guggen squad. Actually, that's not a Guggen squad. That's a Carl's Amazing Baits crawl there. Awesome thing about this Trash Master jig, if you didn't know, is that is it's a weedless jig. That's not weedless. A rig is not weedless. So you can get this in places without getting it stuck. Fishing this on, I think it's 12 pound fluoro is what I've got on here. Just showing you what it looks like right here. A little bit of blue, a little bit of purple on that jig, and some pumpkin, and that that crawl matches it perfectly. I just have it skin hooked. Oh, oh Brett, you dummy! I had one pick it up and held it, and I thought it was a rock, so I just boop, popped it right out of his mouth. Came back for it. Oh, on the trash master jig. Oh, it's another Carl's bait. You should go. You gotta go check that one out. It's another catch co one right there. On the Carl's amazing baits trash master jig. I like that. I like that a lot. Jig fish. You can catch them however you want them on these uh, Carl's baits. Woo. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. I'm glad you guys tuned in. As always, supporting the BFF, the Bee Fishing family. Um, put on a little bit of a show today. Crushed two six-pounders. I was on fire. Oh, I was on fire. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Um, I'm sure it'll be a good one. I really don't know. I'm the one who edits them, so if it's not, it's my fault. And... Uh, Maybe we caught more fish. It's gonna be really hard to top this one, though. This was a, this was a pretty this was a pretty banger day for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, hit the like button, leave a comment below on what you thought of the video, and uh, hit the subscribe button. Turn it from red to gray, and uh, turn on the ding dong notifications. And that's just if you want to be notified every time I, I drop a new video. If you want to stay up to date, hit the ding dong notifications. We out.